Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here. Today we are with Shan Parker. We're gonna talk all about X on the Beach and your new clothing line, Maison Parker. Yes. Very exciting time for you. Very thrilling time <laughs> for me. Uh, lots going on. Yeah, I mean, first I think we have to talk about X on the Beach. Now it's, it's airing now on MTV. Yeah. Why in the first place? I mean, did you know what you were walking into? Honestly, I don't think even if I thought I did, mm -hmm. you can really prepare for a show of this caliber of debauchery <laughs> and just, I mean, it's hellacious and crazy. Yeah. Um, I was not prepared. I have not done, first of all, I don't actively seek out reality TV. It seemed to have found me. Yeah. I keep saying this in <laughs> interviews and whatnot because it's true. I've gotten several phone calls now out of nowhere, right around mm -hmm. the same time of year to do the TV show, and they don't give you a lot of information yeah. to go off of. Uh, I did enough investigating to where I knew, like, I absolutely don't want to do this. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, you know, business is business. Yeah, and it's exposure. Uh, and it's exposure and great exposure, a little too much exposure <laughs> for some of us. Mm -hmm. um, but also, it was really important for me to get involved in MTV and represent the gay community yeah. in a platform that otherwise hasn't been explored. I mean, you talk about getting into the MTV family. There are people who have made careers out of being MTV oh, reality stars. Cemented now. in. Like Johnny Bananas, I think. What season is he? had it down but it's like 15 seasons oh, of the know. challenge ct's been on <laughs> yeah that just since, as many yeah before i was like even hit puberty I is think. <laughs> that something you would even consider do you, would you want to do the challenge or do you like to keep doing these shows i know it's honestly i i bit off a little more than i could chew going mm -hmm. into this house but i do like the process of filming and television i want to get into tv on my own level yeah. maybe do something that highlights gay communities all over the world, mm -hmm. things that we don't really get exposure to yeah. and uh, bring a fun element to that. Uh, had a, I got a phone call for the challenge, I probably would give it a whack. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think You're I would in be, shape, you I can do it. I don't think I would be bad at it now. <laughs> would, I be doing, would I be a lifer? I've got a lot of other stuff yeah. going on. And from the beginning, I mean, first episode, it's you versus Farah. Right. And like, then <laughs> over time, it changes a little bit, but how, did your opinion of her change from the beginning to the end? My opinion of her <laughs> was not a very high one to yeah. start. Uh, you know, I had to live with the person, <laughs> and I don't imagine that's an easy task for anyone. <laughs> um, my opinion of her changed over time, yes, as I got to see, you know, everyone's a human. There's yeah. humanistic <laughs> qualities, human qualities to everybody. <laughs> um, and I saw some of those, but uh, not enough while filming for me to really decide, like, hey, I'm going to just jump right in and yeah. we're going to be fast Best friends. friends. <laughs> no, that wasn't the case. She, uh, she's, a, she's a tough cookie. Yeah, she is. No, we've had her in. She's definitely, she knows what she wants to say and she will make sure that it gets out there. Right, yeah. <laughs> she's, I honestly, I'll say that she's no dummy. No? <laughs> or... I mean, she either is or she's really not. Yeah. <laughs> it's one or the other. And I mean, when your your ex shows up and then his ex shows up, which is just a crazy sequence of events. I mean, <laughs> it's a total cluster. Yeah. I was, yeah, it was a lot. It was a shit show <laughs> and I just kept getting hit one after the other. Just as soon as you start to settle in and relax yeah. and kind of adjust to things, you know, they amp it up again and you're you're right in the pits of hell. Yeah. Like, there was no relaxing <laughs> whatsoever. Is it different from what you remember when you were filming it? How oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, different in the sense that I don't remember filming a lot of it. Okay. I uh, have since quit drinking All and right. uh, I'm just strictly focused on business. I, it's a little unbearable for me to watch myself on TV then wasted, mm -hmm. exhausted. I mean, there were days where I just hadn't slept for yeah. maybe three days, and I'm running off of top ramen in a hot pocket <laughs> and rose. Yeah. Like, that's it. And so you've got oh. the worst of me, and I'm <laughs> sitting at home watching this, like, just 
oh my gosh, could I be more swollen? Could I be more obnoxious? I don't even understand what I just said. You know, like watching that has definitely thwarted me into the throes of sobriety and, and yeah. I've made a lot of life adjustments since then. Because I, I know there's a uh, reunion, they, MTV announced it, I think last night they confirmed it's coming. Correct. I fly Is out there very soon anyone that. that you're maybe very interested in talking to or confronting, I guess, about something you've heard? Um, you know, I tend to not read into the bullshit okay. and a lot of these kids are younger than I am. Yeah. I quickly <laughs> found out that I was one of two very old people in the house in comparison. Uh, 31 will be 32. I think Chad was the only other 30 plus in okay. the house. So. Wow. I, I don't get into Twitter on these yeah. Twitter wars. I don't give a shit what anyone thinks about me <laughs> as long as I'm doing right by myself, but yeah. you know, then I'm good. <laughs> going into this reunion though, I know that people are going to pack a punch. Mm -hmm. I've heard things about plotting and scheming and planning and you know, a lot of these well, kids- They're all talking they, to each oh, other they want to be on a challenge. <laughs> they want to be noticed. They want to pull out whatever stop they can to get a little more camera time. Yeah. And honestly, camera time will come to you <laughs> if you're worthy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go out and be a total asshole of a person yeah. in order to make a career in television for yourself. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm interested to see what happens with everybody. I yeah. already told the producers, you know, I'm, I'll bring my popcorn. Right, sit I'm back. I'm gonna be and... a couple months <laughs> with no alcohol in. Everyone's probably gonna be lit as a kite. So <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a, a nice bumpy ride yeah. that day, but I think I will, uh, I think I'll handle myself swimmingly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes for your fashion line as well as the reality show because yeah. I think the rest of the season could be intense. <laughs> it's gonna be. We've got quite a lot of hurdles to come through. I think, you know, the, the screaming matches for me <laughs> were really intense in the beginning mm -hmm. and as we started filming more and more and more, I just kept drinking more and more and more, so I'm not really quite sure. You don't know what's coming out. I don't really know what's around the river bend, honestly. <laughs> well, we will see. Yeah. Thursday nights on MTV, X on the Beach. Thank you so much for coming Thank in here today. Thank you very much, I appreciate great it. Great to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs>